A few months ago, I uploaded a devlog documenting an update I made to an idle game called Mushroom Clicker. It sucked a lot. Today I'll explain all the mistakes I made while developing this game and how to fix them. Bruh. A long time ago, Unity decided to create player prefs so you could store player preferences in the user registry and retrieve it during a later game session. However, they also decided to put a bunch of limitations on it, such as only being able to store floats, integers, and strings, and having a maximum of one megabyte of data. But, that didn't stop developers from saving important user data using player prefs, including me. As a result, player scores would randomly delete themselves, and saving arrays and booleans became a hassle. Bruh. To fix this issue, all that has to be done is to change which way data is stored. For example, instead of storing data using player prefs, you could create a txt file and store it as a string of json. To do this, first, make sure you are using system.io so that c -sharp can read and write files. Next, using the json utility you can convert a class to and from json like so. Then, simply store it in a file and retrieve it the next game session. When making this game, I made the mistake of using floats to keep track of player scores. At a first glance, this doesn't seem like a huge mistake, but let me explain. Floating point data types can store numbers at most around 340 undecillion, and when making idle games, player scores usually go way past that number. Take Cookie Clicker, for example. Player scores can easily surpass 340 undecillion. So, many players reported their scores being infinity or not a number. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What? What the at the time of making this game, I was extremely, extremely bad at writing code, and I didn't understand much about the structure of games. So, after this game was finished, even though it didn't seem that bad on the surface, the inside was all moldy. You can think of a game as a building. A good game is a tall building and requires a solid foundation to build off of. However, in this game it had no foundation. Let me show you what I mean. If I want to update this game by adding an upgrade, here are the steps required. Step 1. Add a game object and change the display name and description. Step 2. Add three variables that hold those values. Step 3. Add three new methods that return the correct information about that upgrade. Step 4. self implode Step 5. Reincarnate as a polecat and clean up the rotting corpse on the ground. Step 6. Save and build the project. Step 7. Faint of exhaustion. See? Easy.